Hi guys, it's me, Ethan Wooden CDC. I just want to show you the um, stickers I got. Recently, this is not, I have not attached to this yet. Um, big shout out to Big Red EDC. Um, every single Saturdays, I forgot what time he um, goes live, but make sure to check out his channel because every single Saturday he goes live. He talks to, um, to people and he just um, shows us knives and new stuff he gets um so yeah to check him out big shout out and um i became a member of his youtube channel so you get a track pack like this um to stay tuned because soon he will um uh, interview like newer channels like me uh i know he did the from nice fast i'll put his put his youtube channel and nice fast youtube channel and some other YouTubers down in the description. But yeah, that's all the stickers. Um, so yeah. Okay. We'll start with the review of the custom Blanche 1. It is, so far, as I know, there's 13 uh, knives in that series. This is the first one. Um, mainly in the good old USA. Not like Thailand, not um, not Thailand or China or Japan or other um uh, other places. Um, but yeah, I bought this. Um, you see some pictures. This is normally red, but I uh, scraped the red paint out of it so it can be like a nice black. Uh, finish like a nice uh, somewhat black um, like all black almost I, I think it looks better about the red but that's some people like it some people don't kind of wish the box clip did not, didn't say this or at least they could have um, made it like not as noticeable like so they already have it on the blade so I don't know why they put it on the pocket clip but I, I kind of wish this was, this was a um, a deep carry pocket clip uh, nice pivot screw I guess nice pivot screw it's like a hex so no uh, I don't believe it's a D-shaped pivot nice uh milling uh, let's say hole for the pocket for for any number like you know how i how i had it on this it's like that almost um aluminum handles the blade is made out of cpm 154 the Difference I can find online. Um, there's a bench ring to watch. The mini. They are both made out of um, 154cm. So the only difference I can find is since this is a, this is a US made 154 powdered steel. And this is not powdered, so this is a different type of steel. So that's the only difference I can find. Unless if someone in the description can say something else about it but yeah blade is really great uh, i sharpen it i don't know if you can see it it's a punch lock it hits really hard um if you drop it like this, it won't set off. If you push it, it won't set off. Um, let's say you have a old light or something in it. It's not going to set off. Nothing's going to set off because this is like you actually have to push. Because like if you have this in the pocket, right? Let's say something hits it. Like I said, this is a lighter. And you have it in the same pocket. You... If it hits it, oh well, 
on the corner, it, it will, but if it's on a flat surface, it won't. But yeah, this one is you actually have to hit it. Uh, any light presses won't set off. If you take it on tap it, like a little bit and then drop it, uh, it won't. Because let's say you drop, if you press like a tiny bit in, like like right before the blade comes out and tap, and then you squeeze the blade, it's when we set the lock. So um, here's like a two finger, two finger um, thing. It hits pretty hard. I don't know if there's any aftermarket um, springs to make it faster or anything. Um, yeah, here's the size comparison. Press this. Right. Um, here's like the other. This is a fully automatic. This two knives are spring, so it doesn't really count as automatic. Cause, well, depending on the definition of automatic, but this is spring assist. So that's the only thing I have that will fly almost like this. I mean, I did have the the Boca Mini Strike, but I showed that one. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the size conversion with the full size auto, the garage. It is, the garage is somewhat larger. Uh, let me see if I can match up the pivot point. It is, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Let me see. And I will be getting a new mat, and, and like a knife mat, and a new um, phone stand that will overhead like this. But when I'm freehand, so sorry about all the trickiness. But if you somewhat put it to the pivot i think the pivot one's like somewhat here it is longer for the handle blade is longer but if this you have so much belly this is more straight and belly right here um here is the mini watch let me see where's the, the pivot point so this is definitely change. Here's the SOG Thomas XL. As you can see, it's much longer because of that little point. Um, blade is shorter. You have belly right here. This has more belly. This. And then, you know, I gotta compare it against the Kaizu Justice. The Kaizu Justice is, is longer. Blade is longer. Belly is like right here. One small more belly. Here's the blade thickness. Comparison. Let me see if I can send all of them up. Play oh. comparison. So, as you know, the Kaiser Dust is somewhat thick. The watch is not thick. I mean, it's thick down here, but it gets thinner. This is the launch one. It's Ruby nice here has jumping, and it gets thin, and then thicker. Yeah.
So there. Yeah. Stone wash finished. Now the grip is like almost a like semi pistol grip. Pistol grip means like you know, if like this knife is a straight, so you know, you hold it straight, right? But then now this one's you know you hold it straight. Right? This one says it's curved a little bit, knife is gonna swing forward. Um knives are tools, they are not meant <laughs> to some people they are meant for self-defense, some people are for tools. I'm not gonna get into that. Um but this knife will be great for self-defense since you know it's curved and you don't have to move the fist this this way to you know but yeah and i found holding it like this because you know since this this it's a great place for the thumb and you know this is the perfect grip i say for this knife um what i hate is if you hold it like this the pocket clip gets in the way sometimes but yeah no uh there is no let me see to close back design if one hollow but yeah that's about it for this knife um i like it Stone wash is nice. It's pretty good weight. I will have to buy scale. It's somewhat. This one's heavier. The Kaiser does this. You handle it. The sock tone is pretty lightweight. Let me see. Uh, some uh, things a tad heavier if the Thomas XR. The me watch. Someone light as the XR. That's so pretty light. Especially for the aluminum scales, the blade. This is heavier since it's a backspacer, but yeah. But that is the Kershaw launch one. I will be looking for the other launches. See if I can get them on that. The, the most Nice one, I would say, is the 13. It's a one cliff one. Um, the 10 is like a claw, which I would, that's nice for boxes and stuff. Yeah, this is it for the Kaiser Launch One. Shout out to Big Red. So, yeah. That's all for sure, you guys. Stay tuned for more. Please like, subscribe, comment, anything else. And um, as of today, the. Today is what? Today is the 8th. Uh, check out, I know it's such late notice, but on Big Red's John Easy channel, there's an auction going on uh, for some couple um, other knife um, reviews ish that needs help. So just make sure to check him out. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. And sorry about all the misplacements and stuff. I've been busy. I'm just trying to pump out as uh, much videos as I can right now. But yeah, that's about it. Have a nice day, guys.